So quitting your job is one thing. But starting your own thing is another thing. It's a whole ride. Now let's speak about this ride. And I'll be sharing with you my story. And many of you have been asking me, okay, Sarah, so you spoke about um, how you quit your job, why you quit your job after, after um, uh, almost five years. So what are you doing now? What are you up to? And I want to welcome you back to my channel. This is your girl in change and excellence. My name is Sarah Muni. I always tell you if what you are seeking here is change and excellence and growth, in whichever area of your life i am here i'm your sister in the journey and i am willing to work with you and let us share ideas that can help each other grow yes yeah, so uh to our story and um i want to speak about what you do uh when you quit your job to start your own thing because for me that's where my journey <laughs> took me i quit my job a job that i wanted to quit uh the first I think the first thing I wanted to do when I got into that, into that job was quit, you know. And I said, yeah, quit I did after four, after a whole four years and eight months. So if you haven't seen that video, please just check. Uh, it should be somewhere on the link uh, uh, below. And um, yes, yeah, so after a whole four hour, years and eight months, I quit the job and here I am. So what do I do? How was the ride and everything? How has been the ride and everything? So for me, I, I think um, in that video, I speak about me quitting the job because I was following purpose. And I want to say, if you quit for the wrong reasons, you say, oh, I just hate this place. I hate my boss. I hate my supervisor. I hate this job. It's horrible. It's, it's terrible and all that. And I want to quit. You're just quitting for that reason. You're going to have a problem. <laughs> you're gonna have a problem because now if you're starting your own thing let me tell you you have more bosses if you're quitting the job because um you want to be your own boss you don't want somebody following you around and all that let me tell you you don't get to be your own boss your clients are your bosses and now you don't have one boss you have many so <laughs> so you need to know uh to, to at least have the right reason and for me the right reason for the right the reason why I quit is because I found purpose. I found something that was giving me fulfillment and um inspiration and, 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 and satisfaction. And I wanted to pursue that. I wanted to do that for the rest of my life. And I wanted to build that. So for me it was not I yes, I was feeling yes, I need freedom. Um well, you know when you're in a sales environment, I was in a sales environment and um, you know, you have some freedom because sometimes sales people you're not You'll say, oh, I'm going to see my client. But you see, no, you're just doing your stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Many of us are guilty of that. But you see, but for me, I wanted uh, to get out because first um, I had found purpose. I was sick and tired and si of, of being sick and tired of being at the same place and seeing no growth in any area. And for me, if uh, growth for you means quitting your job, it's worth it. If growth for you means leaving the country, leaving your village, leaving your county, you, leaving that uh, relationship or whatever it is, if that's what growth means for you, please, it's worth it. It's worth it. Take the risk and leave, you know. So for me, that's what growth meant for me. I, I wasn't going to grow as a person and uh, be fulfilled and happy in that place you know and and sometimes it's good to know when a place has played its part in your life yeah i learned what i need to learn in in employment and in that in that organization company which i was i learned what i needed to learn and it's good to know when you can tell yourself okay i think in the next phase of my life i need to i need to be elsewhere you need to get there and it's a very bold step that you take so for me it was dramatic so first of all i want to say have a live for the right reasons so when I left, by the way, there's something I didn't tell you. Just before I left the job, um, you know, I was so my, I, I had I was working with a coach and used to push us and everything, and he would tell us. Uh, so um, I had told the coach, you know, I want to inspire change. I just knew I want to inspire change because I was seeing some change in my life. I was seeing some some difference. You know, I became a more focused person. I'm more concerned. I'm, I'm more positive than I used to be. I'm encouraging people than, than, you know, always complaining and all that. So I I could feel the change. And I say, and when he asked me, Sarah, what is it that you want to do? With, with, uh, you know, this, because uh, I, I got into um, um, uh, a public speaking and motivational speaking academy. 
and uh, I told my coach, you know, I want to inspire change. That's all I said. So um, he started now advising me that I need to take change management courses and everything. And, you know, I have done so many of them online. Oh, my God. And, um, you know, because you need to learn as well. So I launched, he told me, and he told me one, he told me, Sarah, I want you to, how many people do you have in your WhatsApp group? I'm, I mean, in your WhatsApp on your whatsapp how many people now as a salesperson you always meet people you are always getting contacts and all that you should have seen my business card stack it's like it's huge you know so i went and saved all of those numbers you know and i told them okay i have about 2000 i think it was 3000 or something 2000 or 3000 there are many contacts so Miss Sarah, i only want you to take a hundred of those people and i want you now i'm still employed eh? i'm still employed and I want you to put them in a WhatsApp group and start sending them those inspiring messages that inspire change and growth. Because that's what you want to inspire in the world. And it was not easy. First of all, for me, when you put me in a WhatsApp group, I used to quit Haraka. Eh? I, well, you're putting what? Why? Why? Who gave you that? Why, why are you putting me in the WhatsApp group? <laughs> so when I put people, you know, for me, I didn't even know that you're supposed to, first of all, ask people, well, I want to put you in a WhatsApp group. I'm posting this and that. I didn't know that. I was just following instruction, you know. I was just putting people, adding people a hundred, and then I wrote, "Hey guys, I'll be." I thought they would be excited for me, yo. It was in the evening. In the morning, I woke up, and I saw twelve people have it, and I think I I cried. I wanted I cried. I shed. <laughs> I shed tears. All the energy I used to give other people who are putting me in their groups and everything, I was just receiving it. Full, we say full, um, and running over. <laughs> Cup full, uh, shaken together and running over. Whoa! So it's good to be kind sometimes. And uh, so you know, um, and I would tell why you're leaving, guys, and everything. And then all of a sudden, someone, a good friend of yours, who you have supported them in their wedding, like you are really there. You are the person. You are the point person in their wedding. You supported them. So be like, yo, this I'm doing my thing. Support me. Um, you know, they're saying, oh, I have a problem with my phone. I don't want to meet mini groups because I don't know my phone does what. Just just when you've added them, their phone has a problem. <laughs> oh, my God. So they would leave. But anyway, I mean, that's a story for another day. But he told us to do that. Then I, I was posting and I see people leaving, people leaving. After that, you see people who have left. I'm like, why are they leaving? So <laughs> it was really so um you know discouraging for me at some point but uh, now i'm still i think i'm still working just i've just gone back a little bit to give you some foundation and um so in this and then after you know after a week or so or two you know of posting and posting and it's an everyday post everyday post every day because you need the world to know you by the person you are becoming you know so i and i do that you know I started a Facebook page and everything, and I'm building, you know, Sarah Muni, the life coach, and, you know. And, uh, hey, I'm telling you, it, it took a lot of faith and, and, and really just taking instruction, taking someone at their word, yeah. And so he told me, Sarah, um, if, if this is what you want to do, why don't you launch a company or a program on change and tell people this is what I'm doing? Let the world know. You can't just inspire the world or change the world in a WhatsApp group. You need the world to know. Why don't you do a launch of a program, come up with a program, a change program or a company? So for me, I thought, um, how do I do it a program or a company? I realized I was thinking too much about the program. So I said, I'll launch a company. And it was not easy. I remember in that academy, we were over 200 that public speaking and motivational speaking academy we were over 200 of us we were many and all of us craving attention for one coach let me tell you out of all of those only because he would tell us that in class so why don't you launch something let the world know what you want to do um or what you're passionate about i think it's just about five of us who actually did that out of 200 you know who are very few are less than 10 and let me tell you, those of us who did that, who just took every instruction, I mean, there are people who have worked there. They, I mean, you, they've really achieved. I think they really achieved. And so he said, why don't you launch a company? So for me, that is exactly what I did. And I said, I'm going to launch a company. 
So what I did is that I went and, and registered. I'm still working. You know, I'm still employed. I went, did a poster. I uh, uh, called a few people as speakers. Of course, my coach was there as one of the speakers. And then I, um, I, you know, I went and booked KICC, Kenyatta International Conference Center. And you look to book KICC as expensive. <laughs> but, you know, because we used to have our classes for the academy there. So for me, I knew that's the place for events. It was not cheap, but I did it because I believed and, and, and I was going to pay the price. Yeah. So I launched my company. In an event, full-blown event, I've never even launched another company or knew how to launch anything. I was just doing what I was told, and I was, and I, I was surprised at the results. People came, and I remember that hall where I was hosting, you know, I had booked, it's Taifa Hall. As those of you who know Taifa Hall at KICC, it can host about 250 people. And uh, my event was starting, it was November 2nd, 2015. I'll never forget November 2nd, 2015. I was still employed. And I was praying, somehow I was praying that nobody in the company gets to see my poster because it was out there. I even had people who are giving like handouts in the streets, inviting people, you know, those posters in the streets, social media, you know. So but I was just praying nobody in the company will see that. Because they, if they saw that, of course, I'd be fired and all that. So, <laughs> but I, you know, I, di I didn't care. Yeah, but I was really praying and I thank God, nobody saw. <laughs> so, I, I had launched my company in a full-blown event. And something that I did, you know, with my <laughs> heart shaking, shaking like this. And um, by 5.40, my event was starting at 5.30. By 5.40, the room was Packed. about 240 people were in that room the room was packed like this and i entered that hall i wanted to fall down but anyway that's not the story you know it's even carrying me away but i just want to tell you that i had actually launched my company in a, an event in a physical event by the time i was quitting so because i quit the following year in 2016 august yeah so when i left uh you know it was now really going out and telling people yeah now this is what we do. And I even chose a name. I, I, by, the, by the way, let me say this. When I was launching this company, I had not even registered this company. It's just a name I picked. You know, I say, oh, Blue Diamond Consultants. I had not even checked. I went and then I was registering it later. Because, you know, it, I had to do something. I had to make things happen. And I was not going to wait for perfection for me to do it. So I quit and uh, I knew what I wanted to do. So I knew I was going to... Um, um, you know, inspire change. So I need to do trainings on change management and everything and leadership and uh, motivational speaking and corporate trainings and team buildings and sales trainings. And now at least I had gone through so many sales trainings that, uh, you know, I had and also I've, I had learned a lot. I mean, I'm, so I could also be able to train, yeah. Uh, customer service trainings and all that, which I still do. Yep, if you need some of those services, I'm here. And, uh, you know, I, I was really, really trying and, you know, knocking doors and everything. Let me tell you, the first week I quit, um, I knew everyone in the plot. Everyone, I mean, in the plot where I stayed, you know, where I stayed in a, I remember there's 10 houses uh, where I stayed. You know, before that, you never even used to know your neighbor because you wake up so early. And then you come back from office so late, you don't even know your neighbors <laughs> very well. And even the time when you're at home in, on weekends, you just want to rest, relax, be in, or you don't even want to do anything. But the first week, the first week I quit, I knew even the house managers of every house in that plot, they were all my customers because they started buying. Uh, I would go to, to, even when I was still in employment, I would go to Uganda buy uh you know these fabrics the vitengas and what have you african fabrics the bags handbags innerwares i come and sell around and then i also used to sell books for my mentor my, my coach i used to sell his book so everybody if you're not getting an innerwear <laughs> you're getting a fabric you're getting a kitenge if you're not getting a kitenge you're getting a bag you must get something from me that was the spirit and then I didn't even, I even, I would even start, you know, going from, you know, from the plots, you know, from, uh, you know, from house to house, plot to plot, even in our neighborhood, you know, selling. And, you know, that's hawking, like, you're, you know, you've got to, you've got to hustle, you've got to really go out there. I, I would do all that. I'm telling you, I would do all that. And I remember 
one time I, no, I'm just I was just with my beings and I was you know going from door to door in my neighborhood that's just something i was doing because i knew i knew i need revenue from many areas many places not just because you know i've not really built myself as a speaker as a life coach i had it so and i had to, to, to do some things to get cash you know to get money because you need you 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 don't you don't forget your bills are still there they need to be paid eh? <laughs> so i knew i needed different revenue streams so i'd buy all of these things to go and sell out there and then i'd also sell online a lot but you know i knew in my neighborhood i can sell so um i remember going and 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 uh one of these i'm taking my things around and i knocked this door and there was this lady and she didn't buy anything but she was like you know but i was selling her what i do and she was like oh my god you're a motivational speaker and you're selling uh stuff like this like you know like i'm hooking around <laughs> And I really felt it, you know, I really felt it. But, for you know, for her, she was just being inspired. She was in insurance and she had the same sales skill, but she's just seated. She didn't have a sale for the month. She was telling me that, yet she's just seated in the house. She was actually pushed or, or I, I mean, is really inspired by what I was doing. Like, you know, I'm not going to sit in the house. And I'm saying, please, if you're somewhere, you lost your job this year or, or, or uh, you, you know, you really don't have things you're doing. I mean, why don't you get some things? Go ahead and put your shame down, put your your degree down, put your go and sell stuff out there. You know, at least because you need to feed yourself, your abuse to pay and all that. Don't just sit in the house, pretty. So you you quit your job to do your own thing. You must be willing to do, you know, to work. You must be willing to do everything for you to feed yourself, feed your family. If you have a family. So and for me, I was I knew it, and I was I was gonna go the the full hole, you know. So um, I would go out, and you know, when she told me that, I was like, oh my god, like, and I will not be telling people like that, like I'm a motivational speaker or anything, because you no, know, they would be like, yo, funny, this motivational speaking is not working. <laughs> It's not even funny. So, but you know, when you're starting out, it's not easy. Yeah, you have to do so many things. So I was doing all that, and uh, you know, because I, I knew this is what I'm doing, and I'm and I knew I'm not gonna go back to employment. I am not gonna go back, and I'm gonna build my thing. I'm gonna build my business. I'm gonna. I had that mindset. I had that mindset, and then I would follow my coach where he is going. You know, so that I can just get to learn how you do this motivation speaking in in a, in a and I mean and the corporate trainings as well. Not just motivation speaking, but corporate trainings as well in the corporates. So and the, so, but now I was also, and I want to say this for those of you who are um, in the speaking space, you are motivational speakers, or you are like which you want to get into that area. A very good ground for you is high school, schools, high schools, primary schools. You can do all your mistakes there. <laughs> you can do all your, uh, you know, we call it teaching practice. You can do all of it there. You know, it's a very good ground even for you to be able to build confidence. To even now, like get to the corporates. So I was in schools. I would go, uh, like scout an area and say, okay, how many schools are here? I go meeting uh the principals, you know, you know, and the teachers in in charge of uh, guidance and counseling. I I would go out there, you know, and then they'd give me at least they'd give me time to go speak to their students. And then of course they are paying you. They are giving you some small small monies here and there. So. Uh, Little by little, I was building my... And then, of course, when you're good and you're putting your all and everything, people refer. You get referrals a lot. Yeah? So, I would go out there. I think I've been to about 100 of uh, high schools in this country, in Kenya. And I've also done a lot across Africa. And especially in the schools, I mean, public lectures in universities across Africa. That one I have done. Uh, but it, it started there. You know, you've got to know what it is that you want. And how exactly you want to uh, to be able to build your business? And for me, I, I knew there's no turning back. It's it's it, it's getting <laughs> in the water with your two feet. Yeah, there was a, there was a, if we sink, we sink, but we are in this. We're gonna sink doing this, and or we make it or we fly. Yeah, doing this. So I, I knew exactly what I wanted. And and for you know many people, uh, you want to quit because. Um, maybe you have not been performing very well and uh, the supervisor are always on your neck. 
using you. <laughs> you are always the subject of discussion in your staff meetings and um, management meetings of how you are not performing and you're just sick and tired of that. Let me tell you, if you're lazy in your company right now, I mean where you work right now, and you think uh, you get it easy out there, you know, <laughs> running your own business, let me tell you, you go hungry. And you start, you go hungry, you don't have no clients, nothing, and you start backtracking, you start falling back into employment. I don't know, and I have friends who have, you know, gone back to employment, you know, you, you go out, you realize, yo, <laughs> it's not easy as I thought, you go back. So I know that happens a lot. And uh, <laughs> so I, I promise you in the next five minutes, I'll be done with this video. But basically, that's how I um, I started and, and I started building my company. Of course, I knew I didn't. There's a lot that I needed to learn for me uh, to know how do you run a company. First of all, I would take all the money, all the money that I've got right now. I I get a very big gig to go and speak to a certain parastato, uh in the end of year, end of their financial year. You know, they pay you well. You know, prostatos they'll pay well. They pay you. And then, you know, since you have money, you just say you're not looking for clients. You know, it's just you in the company. Yeah? You just say until that money finishes, that's when you're going back to look for clients. Then you suffer. <laughs> you suffer. And then this singlepreneur thing. <laughs> you, 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 I mean, it, it, it's very important for you to know how you build systems. It, let me speak about several things here. One, build a system. Build a system so that um, you know you're not just the only person who can be there, who can be there for your business. Such that when you go home, ukienda ushago, ama you go for holiday, your business goes on holiday with you. Yeah, you need to make sure that there are people who are there that are working with you. There's a system. Like for me, I know it's a bit hard for you if you're in the training industry like me because uh, the people will say no, we just want you. Yeah. Um, or you don't have, or maybe you don't have money to pay the trainers in order because you know they can be expensive. So what you do, you make partnerships, partner with people who are in the training industry. If you change or you train on change management or leadership, you know uh, you have a job in uh, financial management. Get somebody who can train for you. Then you can be doing something else. Get an expert in that area. Keep them their part, their commission, and everything. And, you know, this industry, even the training industry, a speaking industry, it works like that. You must work with partnerships. You can do everything and you can't be an expert in speaking about everything. You, you need to work with partnerships. So it's important to build networks uh, of, of, of people who are in your industry. And, and that for me, that's what I did. And I was in several networks and I've been in several networks, uh, not just in Kenya, but globally. Uh, one network I've been part of is called Global Business Roundtable, which is headquartered in South Africa, Johannesburg. And um, at least with that network, I've been able to network, meet people from across the world. And I've really grown in that network. In terms of getting exposure, I have grown. If you can just check Global Business Roundtable online um, uh, on Google, yeah, or even you can chat me, I can, I can you know, be able to, to introduce to other people. And then I've also been part of Women in Business. I was part of Youth in Business. Uh, those are some networks in Kenya, part of youth in Africa. Youth in Africa is the largest networking and it's the largest youth uh, movement uh, across the continent of Africa. I can uh, connect you to it if you'd want to be part of it. And many other networks that I'm part of, you know, for you to network and, and grow, you know. Number two, uh, you need to have um, to know how you manage your finances. And, and when I say finances, sorry, when I say <laughs> finances i'm saying this because you find that since you don't have any other source of income this business is supposed to sort to sort you it's supposed to sort you big time i mean to sort all your issues and everything pay bills and everything yeah so you need to look at yourself as an employee and pay yourself a salary other than taking everything that's coming from the business yeah, just because you're seeing a few clients who are giving a few money, you start changing house, everything, you start upgrading your life and everything. No, 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 no. You need to give your t yourself time to grow. Give your business time to grow. Stop changing where you're living. And, and, and or you need to make sure before you do that, you're stable. You are somewhere financially, you have some stability in terms of your finances. So look at yourself as an employee. And that's what I did. Pay yourself a salary. Sometimes it can be a little amount. So this is all I'm taking for this month. The rest is going to the business to build it because I have equipments to buy. You know, I have products, maybe they are products. 
you need to be buying maybe there's a shop you need to set up and everything and you need to make sure that um uh you know you you don't <laughs> you don't um you, you don't choke your business yeah you, you need to make sure you don't choke your business then from there you need to learn about tax, tax how do you submit tax and everything work with people who know that yeah how do you file your returns make sure by the way you're good with government yo <laughs> pay your taxes if there are taxes to be paid uh file your returns if there are returns to be filed do those things comply regulatory whatever make sure you comply <laughs> yeah it's it's very important you know as you grow and then learn to keep paperwork that is what i learned to be keeping paperwork sometimes uh someone has just called you and said oh just come and speak to us you know so you see there there's no um come to and speak on uh, to, to my board at the high school come speak to our board members you know if you have a retreat and everything make sure you ask them for um for um for an, for, for an LPO, let them write for you a PO so that you have paperwork and you have things you can show. Sometimes you are applying for a tender and they want to see what you've done before. Letters of engagement, LPOs and all that, they want to see that. And and if you don't have any paperwork, it, sometimes it, it becomes a limit for you. It becomes a limit and there are some things that you can't get, there are some opportunities that you can't get. So please learn to keep your paperwork before you introduce a system where you can be recording everything there have your file work and paperwork let there be evidence of work that you have done before and then i think the last thing i want to speak about here is um you know you need to know uh, at least you know you need to open yourself to learning you need to open yourself to learning you were employed and now you are your own you have your own business and some of us you know we are just technically good yeah like you are a very good engineer but your you, your business entrepreneurship sales skills are still down you know you, you have not really mastered that you find yourself you have a very good technology you're very good uh, you're very skilled but you can't sell so you need to learn some sales skills you need to know what are the strengths that i need to build and uh, at this time for me i needed to build the skill of networking because i never really you know i needed to build that and before that, for me, it was just about, oh, can you buy a machine or not? Because I was used to sell um, multifunction printers. So for, so the art of networking, I didn't know it very well. But I had to really teach myself the art of networking. Even though I used to do sales, I had to still learn so much about sales. You know, so that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm able to, you know, to help at least boost sales in my company. And it can survive and can support me. <laughs> yeah. So know which skills you need. Some of us, we are just very good technically. But when it comes to sales skills, even people skills. Some of us, we don't have people skills. How do you deal with people? You have a project, you have involved people. How do you deal with people skills? You need to learn that. Give yourself to learning. Look for coaching. Look for, um, um, you know, mentors. It's very important, of course, in business. I don't know if I want to speak, to speak about mentorship in this video because it's going to be done in the next two minutes. But have coaches. I'm a life coach myself, and I usually help people in their businesses at least keep track of what it is that they're, they're doing and also um, help to keep your goals your priority. We, that, I mean, that's the work of a, of a life coach. Work with mentors, people who can inspire, people who have been there on that journey. And for me, I look for mentors. I, you know, I was trying and because I was learning a lot, I was ready to learn. I was willing to pay the price. I was willing to do everything. Somehow, you know, <laughs> I, I managed somehow and I'm there I'm in that business today. I've rebranded my company from uh, Blue Diamond Consultants. We are now Lead Pro Africa Consultants and we usually do trainings for organizations and companies across uh, Kenya, East Africa. We do that globally anyway. Uh, so doing uh, trainings on public speaking, uh, change management, leadership, and all of those things. I mean, capacity building for staff. That is what we do. And I have never regretted quitting my job. And I'm very happy at what I do. Today, we have a team in the company. And for me, those were dreams. Those were just dreams. But you had to put in the work to make it come to pass. So for me, uh, there's so much that I can write, you know, on, on quitting and where we are today. I think now five years, five or six years now. But um, I think for today uh, and for this video, I think that's just all I have for today. Please let me know your experience. Please subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next 
video and let me know your experiences i am waiting for you thank you so much